Welcome to Building an Inevitable Brand. I'm Jeffrey Perlman, and I'm going to be your guide through this journey. I've had the pleasure of co-creating some of the world's most transformative brands, and I want to tell you a little bit about what I've learned. I remember at Zumba, it was 2008, we had enough money in the bank to tide us over for three months. The entire economy was crashing, and we were going to have to start laying off some of our employees. We didn't have many employees, but we didn't want to do that. And all of a sudden, our numbers just took off. And we went from suffering from hunger to suffering from indigestion. What had happened is that we got our brand right. We achieved what I call market resonance. The brand struck a chord. It spread like wildfire. We went from wondering how to expand to having people copying our brand all over the world. I remember getting a phone call from my lawyer one day saying that if we didn't establish a physical presence in the Netherlands, we were going to lose our brand over there. And this was happening all over the world. So we went from having a tiny office in Miami to having to serve 186 countries. I lived in an airplane. I remember I would wake up in the mornings and it took me a minute to realize where I was. And it was a lot of fun. And do you remember how we only had three months of money left in the bank? We went from that to not knowing what to do with our money. So I want to show you how to achieve market resonance, how to turn your brand into an inevitable idea whose time has come. And I've got a little warning for you. And once your brand becomes unstoppable, inevitable, it's going to be hard to meet demand. You go from a company that is suffering from hunger to a company that is suffering from indigestion. Zumba went from a company that we didn't know how to get more business to a tsunami of opportunities that we didn't know what to do with. Mind Valley went from a small internet marketing company to the fastest growing personal development platform in the world, poised to redefine the entire education system. So all I'm asking you to consider right now is how you would handle exponential growth. What kind of people, systems, and resources might you need around you? And keep those things in mind as you go through this quest. Achieving market resonance can be exciting and a little bit scary. Look, one day we were hungry, literally and figuratively, five guys in a warehouse eating ramen noodles. And the next day, we were Inc. Magazine's company of the year. It felt like it was one day to the next. We achieved market resonance. So why am I here? After the success of Zumba, it was my time to retire. It was my time to have a family, to live a small life. I moved to an island and that's what I was going to do. That's what I planned to do. And it didn't work out like that because I love building brands. That's what I do. I love the craft of building brands. Friends would call me and tell me about the, the brands that they were building and I would stay on the phone with them for hours on end. But the brands that I love to build are the brands that create new human beings. They're the brands that inspire new people to exist. They're the brands that change the course of history. Where religion used to teach people who they should be, a transformational brand, the type of brands that I love to build, they teach us who we could be. And that's how they change the course of history. So whether you're building a personal brand or a consumer brand, this course is going to teach you how to build an inevitable brand. What is an inevitable brand? An inevitable brand is a brand that finds a market resonance match an inevitable brand is an idea whose time has come. The telltale signs of an inevitable brand is that decisions are clear and they're obvious. Doesn't ask people who they should be. They don't go around asking customers, who should I be for you? They don't go around asking agencies, who am I? They don't do that. An inevitable brand knows itself. An inevitable brand creates a new universe, a new reality that never existed before. So what are we going to achieve in this quest? Well, we're going to teach you how to build an inevitable brand. First, we're going to go through what a brand is and what a brand isn't. 
and I have a spoiler alert for you. A brand is not your logo, it is not your colors, and it is not your fonts. And I'm going to help you discover your brand's gift. The brand's gift is what your brand is here to give to the world. Not to take, not, not how many customers you're here to take, but what are you here to give? The brand gift for Zumba was to make the entire world fall in love with movement. The brand gift for Airbnb is to create a world where everybody belongs everywhere. And then we're going to move on to your brand hero. A lot of people talk about the aspirational brand. There's no such thing because nobody aspires to be logos and fonts and color palettes. They aspire to be other people. And so your brand hero is the identity that your customers will aspire to be. Next, we will discuss brand architecture. This will help you understand which type of brand you're building. And once you've got your brand architecture, we can start working on your brand essence. There are three parts to your brand essence. The first one is your brand frequency. The best brands in the world own an emotion. Harley Davidson owns a reverence. Airbnb owns belonging. Zumba owns freeing, electrifying joy the moment you get lost in the music. Owning an emotion is incredibly important. Then we move on to the trigger. This is your anti-emotion. The really great brands of the world own an anti-emotion, a trigger. Whenever you're frustrated with a, with a technology product, what do you think about? Apple, when you get an error message on a PC, the blue screen of death, what do you think about? Apple. Apple owns their anti-emotion. And then the third part of the brand essence is your brand promise. What you resolve for your customer at the cognitive level, at the functional level. And with these three things, this is your brand essence. And then we're going to use your essence to build your brand universe. The best brands in the world create a new universe, a new universe that never existed before. Think about Disney World, that it's its own universe. So we're going to talk about the people and the places and the things of your universe. So the things are your products and services. The people are your customers, your staff, your vendors, your investors. And the places are the digital or physical spaces where your clients connect with your brand, but also where you connect with your brand. At the end of the day, a brand is an ethos. It's a frequency. It's nowhere and everywhere at the same time. It speaks to the human soul. It connects, it moves people, not just product. And then in our final lesson, we're going to talk about the most important part in building an inevitable brand. And that is you. Who are you? Who do you need to become to build an inevitable brand? And so I'm incredibly excited to share this quest with you. You will also find a lot of bonus materials that are going to support your journey. And I have some tips for you on how you can get the very most out of this quest. The first thing is to schedule 20 minutes a day to watch the videos and do the assignments. And I suggest you block off this time in your calendar now so that life doesn't get in the way. Next, prepare your tools. Make sure you have your workbook. Remember, you're doing this quest as part of a team. It is extremely important in the area of creativity to have sounding boards, sanity checks, use the community. So join the Mind Valley tribe, introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit about who you are, the brand that you're building, whether it's a personal or consumer brand, and what you expect to achieve from this quest. I'm so excited to be sharing this quest with you, and I will see you in the first lesson. <music>